Hi, I'm Ryan Lagarde. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Tovey. Remember, if you like what you see, follow us on Instagram. Or visit our website. RyanCraig.com. You can watch all of our read-alongs. Or send us a message. You can say anything. I have something to say. Ryan. I want to give a shout out to Colton Summers in Mr. Williams' first grade class and all of the students at Venus Primary School. Thanks for sending us today's book. You guys are so cool. Today's book is <gasps> Nibbles the Book Monster by Emma Yarlett. Let's get started. started. I say that. I know, but I wanted to do I it say too, with, with you. What do you need? Got an itch. Yarlett. Nibbles the Book Monster by Emma Yarlett. This is a story about a little monster called Nibbles. Nibbles likes to nibble soap. And Nibbles nibbles socks. Nibbles chomps on rubber ducks. And Nibbles munches clocks. Nibbles loves to nibble toes. And Nibble nibbles hooks. But Nibbles' favorite thing of all to nibble on is... Cheese. Cheese. It's. It. Cheese. It's. Cheese. It's. We guess cheese. Cheese. It's. Yep. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. Cheese. Cheese. It's. Cheese. It's. Final answer. Cheese. It's. Yeah. Yeah. Books about cheese. It's. Doesn't say. Technicality. We're right. Yep. Cheese. It's. Final answer. Cheese. It's. Oh no. Where's Nibbles? Nibble? Chew? Nah. He's nibbled his way out of this book. Gone. Can you see him? Recipes for Nibbles and Other Culinary Delights by Emma Tartlett. Uh-oh, Nibbles has nibbled his way into someone else's story. Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Matt LaMary. No, not Goldilocks. Nibbles, Nibbles, don't nibble. That's good scolding, Craig. Nibbles, no nibbling. First Goldilocks tried the big bowl of porridge. Yuck, too salty. Then she tried the in-betweeny size bowl of porridge. Too sweet. Then Goldilocks tried the teeny tiny bowl of porridge and it was... Monster! Beep. When the three bears came home, they were shocked. Someone's eaten my porridge. Someone smashed my chair. Someone's broken everything. It wasn't me. It was a monster! The three bears were in for quite a surprise when they returned home and realized a curious little yellow-haired rascal has eaten their chairs and slept in their tasty porridge. We joined the naughty little hairy critter on his classic fairy tale adventure. Poor Goldilocks, Naughty Nibbles has nibbled his way into another story. Quick, let's catch him! Little Red Riding Hood, Mr. Meaty Tail. No! Not, Not Little, little Red, Red Riding, Riding Hood. Hood! Nibbles! Nibbles! Nibbles, listen, nibbles, nibbles, no nibbling. Get out of that book. Great scolding. He's definitely going to listen to that. No, nibbles. That's great. Deep in the dark, dark forest, Little Red found Grandma's cottage. Stop that nibbler. He just nibbled my granny's lunch basket and he nibbled my cloak. Little Red knocked on the door and went inside. Grandma looked very strange. I look strange. What about Little Red? She doesn't look right at all. Oh, Little Red, what cute fluffy paws you have. What a rumbly, grumbly tummy. And what nibbly little teeth. All the better to nibble with. After a terrible hullabaloo, Grandma was set free from the cupboard. Let me in! This story is meant to be about me! My hero! Thank you, Nibbles! Oh, Nibbles, you've turned me into a chicken. I feel so fluffy. And the big bad wolf was never big or bad ever again. Little Red Riding Hood loves to visit her grandma's cottage in the dark, dark forest. One day she decides to take a picnic, but on the way she meets someone very, very hairy who wants to eat her picnic basket and red clock for lunch. But in the end, will the big bad wolf discover his fluffy side? Oh dear, Little Red is not happy. We've really got to catch Nibbles this time. He's making a real mess of things. Let's get him. Jack and the Beanstalk, Myrtle a tame. No, not, not Jack, Jack and the Beanstalk. Nibbles, nibbles, 
Nubbles! 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 Enunciate just a little bit so you can hear Nubbles! No! Nubbles! Is that good? Yeah, that was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Nubbles! Jack hid just in time. The giant was home. Mr. Giant stomped through his giant door and sat on his giant chair, but something didn't feel quite right. He took a giant sniff and said, Fee, fi, fo, boom! Something just bit my body! And they're running away with my goose! Mr. Giant tried to catch the intruder and the golden goose. Come back here! I'm out of here! But they managed to escape. Fee fi fo bum! I'll get you back for this, you nibbly hooligan! When Jack climbs a giant beanstalk in his back garden, he finds a giant house, a giant golden goose, and a gigantic grumpy giant. Will Jack set the poor goose free? And will he make it home for dinner? Phew, that was a close shave! Rapunzel. Hooray! The golden goose is free at last, and it looks like he's taking Nibbles back to his own story. Yay! The golden goose has dropped Nibbles back into his own book. Ouch! Thank you, golden goose. Now quick, let's close the crate before Nibbles escapes again. Phew! Well done. Now you really mustn't take your eyes off Nibbles. Not even for one second. Stop! Can you hear something? What's that noise? Nibble, chew, gnaw. History books. See ya! Blue chip. Time travel? Me! Visit Cousin Chomp in the city. Find Atlas. Find the tastiest book in the world. Gone nibbling. Nibbles? Oh no! Not again! No! Nibbles, Nibbles escaped the book! I mean, he could be anywhere! We'll never be able to find him! Nibbles! Nibbles! Nibbles, you get back here, Nibbles? No. I'm saying nibbles. Oh. Listen. Okay. Nibbles! It sounds like nibbles. Nibbles, you get back here, you. Is that good? Yeah, no, I think he's gonna come back. Yeah. Where's head? Back in time. Yeah. Nibbles! Oh. Nibbles, nibbles the, the book, book monster. monster! By Emma Yarlett.